Greetings. The Florida State Board of Education has just released new teaching standards for their Black History curriculum. One of those content standards states that the enslaved Africans received personal benefits from being in bondage. This reminds me of a quote by Carter G. Woodson, published in his book, The Miseducation of the Negro in 1933, wherein he said, if you can control a man's thinking, you do not have to worry about his actions. We as a people should not be surprised or appalled at what the Florida State Board of Education has done or is deciding to do. Their education system is working just as intended. It is doing what it was designed to do. I think we fail to realize the purpose of the modern education system. The purpose of the modern education system is to produce a class of workers for the corporate sector. Moreover, is to produce a group of people who will consume mindlessly. We have a plethora of people among our midst who are highly educated with master degrees, PhDs, and such. But we are still begging or on the outskirts of the education system by being at the mercy of those who make the decisions to form legislation that controls our lives. So how does this modern education system function? Or what does it do particularly? How does it work for us? Well, first of all, you must understand that the modern education system serves to perpetuate the interests of the dominant class. Moreover, it serves to perpetuate or to continue to support European uh, dominion and global hegemony. This is what the modern education system does. And for us, it makes us into consumers. It also uh, teaches us that our main objective is to go to school, to get in debt, to become workers in the corporate sector. This is our main objective for the education system. So it is no wonder that we are on the outskirts, offended and appalled at legislation that we don't agree with, that we have no control over due to our powerlessness, although we're educated. That said, it is our responsibility to take upon ourselves to educate our children. We shouldn't leave the responsibility of educating our children to anyone else besides ourselves. The purpose of our education is totally different from the modern education system. It should be totally different. What do I mean by this? The modern education system seeks to produce a standardized citizenry, to quell dissent, to put down originality to reduce each student to the same safe level. Whereas an education system that we should be engaged in, it should be designed to produce a cadre of scientists, thinkers, doers, workers, artists, organizers intent on changing our condition and reality as a people worldwide. Moreover, an education for our people should be responsive to our needs. It should be about promoting resolutions to solve our problems. The problems not only that we are confronted with here in America, but the problems we as a people are faced with worldwide. That's what our education system should look like. We shouldn't have to worry about folks legislating uh, rules, mandates, and content core curriculums as they see fit. We should be about the business of being sure that anyone who stands before our children as a representative of their culture, any teacher or educator should be one who is invested in the community, in the advancement of the culture, politically, economically, socially. That's how it should be. If we have people in front of our children who aren't invested in the interests of our children and their future, we have failed ourselves. We have failed our children. More importantly, we have the resources to change our condition. We have the resources to step away from the dominant class, the ruling elite, and to educate our children ourselves. We just need to funnel those funds in the right direction. We spend millions of dollars on hair. We spend millions of dollars on sneakers. We spend millions of dollars going to concerts, going out to eat, buying frivolous trinkets to uh, enjoy our lives here while we're enslaved. And as the saying goes, you can't be free and enslaved at the same time. 
So we must take the responsibility ourselves to produce independent African-centered institutions, institutions independent of the ruling class, of the dominant culture. We must do this in order to raise up a cadre of students who can change our condition worldwide. If we don't do this, if this is not the business that we are about, we are intent on failing ourselves. If we fail to do for ourselves, this means we plan to fail. There is no other way. We should have learned this lesson long ago. Thank you. Until the next time, peace.